We've done exercises for a long period of time working with South Korea, and uh, we call them war games, and I call them war games, and they're tremendously expensive. The amount of money that we spend on that is incredible. And South Korea contributes, but not 100%, which is certainly a subject that we have to talk to them about also. And that has to do with the military expense and also the trade. So uh, we're doing that. We actually have a new deal with South Korea in terms of the trade deal. But we have to talk to them. We have to talk to many countries about treating us fairly. But the war games are very expensive. We pay for a big majority of them. We fly in bombers from Guam. I said it when I first started. I said, where do the bombers come from? Guam. Nearby. I said, oh, great. Nearby. Where's nearby? Six and a half hours. Six and a half hours. That's a long time for these big, massive planes to be flying to South Korea to practice and then drop bombs all over the place and then go back to Guam. I know a lot about airplanes. It's very expensive. So and, and I didn't like it. And what I, what I did say is, and I think it's very provocative. I have to tell you, Jennifer, it's a very provocative uh, situation. When, when I see that and you have a country right next door, so under the circumstances that we're negotiating a very comprehensive, complete deal, I think it's inappropriate to be having war games. So number one, we save money a lot. And number two, uh, it really is something that I think they very much appreciated.